we have seen that there are many tools which can be used to identify suitable interventions. The aim of all these tools is ultimately to improve rainwater management and enhance livelihoods. But how to decide which interventions to apply where, at a watershed and landscape level? Here we see an illustration of a degraded watershed with no measures to control erosion on cropland, overgrazing and patches of land so degraded that they have been taken out of production altogether. It can be hard to know where to start and which practices to apply where to tackle these interrelated natural resource management issues. It is in everyone's interest to avoid landscapes like this, but degradation often has multiple causes at different scales, which are difficult to address without taking an integrated approach. The NBDC therefore took a landscape scale approach to try to understand how different interventions could be combined most effectively. A variety of approaches to rainwater management can help to prevent or reverse degradation by reducing erosion, maintaining soil fertility and retaining water to support production and groundwater recharge. These include terraces on cropland, afforestation on slopes, gully rehabilitation and more effective use of shallow groundwater for both productive and domestic purposes. In order to support the development of integrated strategies, the MBDC has developed a set of cards summarising the major technologies or management practices that might be used. Here are a few examples. These cards show the main purpose of the technology and what it can achieve in hydrological, biophysical and socio-economic terms. Where the technology or management practice is most suited in terms of rainfall conditions, temperature, geomorphology and land use type. And very importantly, what requirements it has in terms of land, labour, cooperation among stakeholders, cash or access to markets. Without these requirements being understood, an otherwise suitable technology will fail. The different rainwater management options were considered and a decision made jointly about which would be suitable in different parts of the landscape and how they could be combined. Ultimately, a rainwater management strategy needs to fit the needs of both the landscape itself and people's livelihoods there. Ultimately, we hope that these approaches will contribute to more sustainable and diversified production at landscape level, for example by making water available for small-scale irrigation, by capturing rainwater and enhancing soil moisture to enable crop growth in semi-arid environments, or by harvesting water for livestock production. Most landscapes will include various types of resource use such as these, and integrated strategies can help to ensure that they all benefit. These cards have been used in discussions with resource users within watersheds in the MBD study sites, as well as with decision makers.